Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Total War Thrones of Britannia where we play as Mead and we are defending against Sudreyar's Viking, the secondary ar army that he had going inland within Ireland. I think we are going to be able to be to take them out. It's going to be slightly challenging. I'm not saying that it's going to be easy. Mostly because I don't really want to jinx it. The good thing is that we have our general being our king. And all our troops have second level armors and weapons. Just wanted to check out these markets. Really quickly. Like this small village in the area. Looks pretty. It's a nice day, so we shouldn't really have trouble. Let's see. Eastman, Swordsman, uh, Eastman, Horseman and Scouts here as well. Now we have some Spears. Like, are these like mercenary? Like, they don't seem to be. The Eastman fighters. Okay, like this is what I was used to seeing for some reason. Yeah, his troops are not that high quality. I guess maybe not all the armies had all their troops upgraded. But let's see, where is his general? It's right here. So for you, I will really have to find a way to take you out. Okay. Well, let's start by mixing and matching the spearmen to the side. Like, have a one more replenished spear unit near a one that has a few lost troops. Like, not fully replenished. I think I'm going to make like. So, keep swords like this. Swordsman. And then have the axes on the right. Swordsman. With the rest of the swords, like we could even bring them from behind. Can we? No, no, we cannot. I'm thinking about keeping them on the side and bringing them in through the back or use an opportunity maybe to start going for his ranged units not really sure what would be the best maybe i'll do something like this and then i'm going to take a unit here two units here of horses and keep our general pretty close, just so we can support the troops. Now that should be about it for now. I am going to try to rush his troops. Tiny bit. Mostly interested in catching his scouts. Horsemen, cavalry, full gallop. For glory and glory. Horsemen. Like, let's just do that. Let's Sons rush. And then I'm gonna take the swords and try to engage with his troops. Archers, you shoot at them here. Okay. Cavalry, keep going forward. Archers here. Let's see. Okay, you go forward, you stay here. 
You go into their backs. I would like you to... Oh, this really dumb engagement. Go there, you go here, you come here. Let's see, let's attack this javelin man on that side. Uh, it's definitely, these troops are definitely of lower quality. Like, look at the big difference in what our impact is in these fights. Definitely, definitely a different ball game. Hey, you engage there. I'd like to bring our general back here. You keep following him. Don't let them go. Okay, you all engage here. Hey, let's bring our calf through the back. Okay, we're somewhere here with the king. No. The battle is turning in our favor. Okay. Let's see. What can we do here? More. That cab is going that way. You should go here. Okay, with you. I think with the archers I'd like to shoot on that side. Hey, I've just made them stand in that area. You keep going there, you keep engaging here. I think they've caught the map at the end of the map. Hey, what did they do here? Did they make... They did. They went into a circle. Hmm. Oh, very interesting. Okay, so we have a few troops breaking here. Let's support the rest of the armies. that I guess we just need to fast forward it here like the shield biters are going berserk so that's why they'll stay till the death and with these guys I think we're gonna be done in a second yes okay there it is simple to the point Lost a bunch of axes, lost a bunch of swords, so most of all we're, we need a few turns sitting still in order to replenish. But we've done really well here. Let's... let's see. So more... Replenishment would be good here. But kill captives. Let's kill captives. Try to get a few extra points with our allies. Okay, another one lost. Another general lost there. Uh, arbitrator. Plus one to loyalty, plus two to governance. Great, irreproachable, plus three. Popular, plus one from the runestone building chain. Okay. None shall stand Let's see. These can be upgraded, so we'll do that. War is what we they don't have defend. any more supplies. We are at minus 52 food. Kills forever. 
Let's engage this army. It's gonna be very quick with them. Because I don't want them in the area anymore. Okay. Kill captives. Now, raiding. Raiding party! Should provide us with a bit of money. Because we are not replenishing now. Minus 30 food there. So raiding does help. If I go once again into his territory. I think if I move just about here. We'll be able to put this army into a raiding stance as well. There we have it. We are at minus 10. Not perfect. But it's definitely doing something. We are going to take this farm over. On the next turn. I will stop here. Taxing the province. Trying to reduce the rebellion chance. I think so far with our troops. We are in a good state. To where I would go with this, with the extra supplies and another point to public order. We really need more. Uh, to make more... Uh, the area more safe. Let's see, what else? Risks of rebellion, I want to see all of them. Okay, one there and one in Eilek. If I stop taxing, we're at minus 50 food, so I can't really stop that. Uh, anything else? Nothing left to chance. The enemy didn't really stand a chance against such a superior force. Gained from decisive victory when attacking a weaker target. Minus one loyalty, plus two, two zeal for our king. Loyalty does not matter for him. Okay, apparently our son. He's unmarried and he has a son that is not made through marriage. Come share the comforts of my household. A natural beauty? Sounds pretty good for him. Payment? No, I guess that doesn't work. Hmm... Cancel the vassal status for... Oh, I could do that with Brega. We agree. Okay, we're married now with Eilech. To what do I owe the pleasure of your company? To what do I owe the pleasure of your company? Military alliance with you? No. All right. Anything I can do with Persuade. you, like defensive? No. Sit. Have some ale. What dark business bring? All right. Okay, I guess that's all that we could have, we could do there. Uh, any m we have one more army that we said we're gonna bring them north, but I'm not sure that's really the case. Should be the case anymore? Maybe we'll go back, try to recruit a different army as soon as we have more food. Then let's go through. Our faction's territory. We upgrade the farm there. Like here. Here is more money. This provides with 30, us with 30 food. Instead of 50 food. But it does give us some extra cash. So we'll probably just... Or we'll not probably. We will take the next level of market. That extra gold with even 5 food is good. I want to take this farm over. Because it, uh, because it has a monastery as well. So we'll stabilize the region. And at the same time get enough food for us to be replenishing. 
Let's see. Or oh, we can focus him or let him be a Crimonius. No, the kingdom comes first. Someone was left for dead from the Garrickson building chain. Minus two to loyalty. I'm not sure what level he is now. Oh! So we got from raiding the lands, we got some legitimacy. We got two points per army. Uh huh. Okay, well, we'll Everybody keep that in mind. Hard. Let's take this over. Got it. There we have it. Priory and another farm. Tax the province. 46 food on us. Stable. For the glory Everything that we kings. need. Never. Okay. That is good. Let's Our see. Is legendary. With this army. They don't have the toughest of War troops. What we do best. But we don't have everything we need orders. either. Let's try to come back here. See how we'll here respond. I would like to recruit so two more swords or let's see, maybe another calf? Yes. Someone right now has minus one or one loyalty. Let's secure his loyalty. If we pay him off, yeah, it's going to reduce our income by a lot. But it will give us plus two to faction influence, but we have plenty of that. Lower influence, reduce that by two for us and provides him with one loyalty. Let's do a bit of pay and yield. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it for now. Only Isla has a risk of rebellion at the moment. As soon as we can start replenishing this army, the sooner we can move out. We need to keep this army still because this 20 stack seems to be moving around as well. Now, Brega doesn't have a lot of armies anymore. Which is very curious. Never. Okay. Well, we're at... We gained one more legitimacy from settlements. Okay. Oh, he's attacking us. It doesn't give us the best chances. We do have a few depleted units there. But what does he have? Like, let's load up the battle while we look at the troops. In this panel, it's going to show us. Like, he has a bunch of chevrons. The general is level 5 as well. His zeal is huge. Yeah, this will make his troops really tough. Okay. Well, the spears aren't great. The swords, the axes, they have the chevrons on them. I'll give him that. But nothing else. It's risky. It's a risky battle. But I think we'll be able to do it. Shh, we have a village here. Meaning he can't really move a, a lot. And the problem is, let me let me think. How how would this work? If I draw him through here, we can bottleneck his troops to take some damage. The problem is, his troops are quite tough. 
but it's in a sense it might be better than meeting him in the open field. If I draw his troops through here, he might push out his melee and bottleneck or keep his range troops here, where we could sneak in our calf. Okay, I think it's a plan that I could do like this. Have some swords on the side. Uh, let's lock in hide foliage just so we don't see the leaves when we're up close bring it on bring it on have the ranged troops i am going to bring two cavalry units on this side with support from spears and two spears on the other side with another cav and keep the general here in the back yeah I think that's good and with these two swords like that come on boys come on boys We have a plan, I'm not sure it's going to work well, but we're gonna try it. He's bringing a whole lot of troops through the side, I hope he's not gonna engage these parts. They came out of nowhere. Okay, he's setting fire to these. Okay, unfortunately, we're not in the greatest positions here with them engaging us. You continue there. I'm going to reform these guys here. What do they have? Archers? Javelins? Archers? Oh, I am going to be engaging these troops like so. Push them there. Let's see, how are they? They're approaching. Okay. Uh... It's about time they are getting engaged. We found our foes. Horsemen, ravage them. Okay, horses go the after that. Spears go after this. These spears come back. Them. Or maybe go like this and sit in shield wall. And with you. No. Let's have the archers shoot there. Shoot the long axis, please. Nice. Okay, let's attack. Okay. Now let's bring in some of the swords that we have. I'm gonna bring these units in. Okay, let's use our troops. Ah, I don't think they were facing the right way there. The right way there. Okay. Let's bring in our general. Let's bring these guys. More javelins there. Okay, 
Oof. This is not gonna be an easy fight. You continue there. Current spears. Yeah, there. Okay, archers, please retreat. Okay, axes engage here, please. Okay, at least the swords seem to be doing well. Like these armies of swords have done really well here. If I focus the shots where it's needed, I think we're gonna be able to do very well here. You come here. You shoot at them there. Okay, let's split some of these up. Like so. Okay. Uh, what is this? Okay. Like he still has some cap. You engage there, please. Eastman scouts. Let's engage them with our general here. Okay, you. Um. Okay, you rest. You. Let's bring them here. Go for a wedge formation and then let's charge straight into the warband. I am going to bring some of these units to take care of him. Some units around. Okay, let's push with our general. We need to bring him even though we risk him. We need to use him in order to take care of these ranged troops. Eastman scout. Sure. Okay, well, at least we scared him a tiny bit. Okay, let's bring in another sword unit here. Okay, all of you engage here. Let's retreat the general. Make sure he doesn't get too damage in the range attacks. You. Come on, throw that ability around. This general is at a gold level. Now I hope that's not gonna mean that we're gonna lose just because his general is a beast. You never know with this. Okay, 
Okay, let's engage these ones here. Good. Now I want another charge there in the back of this general. Okay, those are done. Charge this general, please. Go with this general and engage those units. Tough, really tough. I'm almost not sure about pushing our generals so far. Come on. Come on, destroy them. Okay, go next. The enemy general is dead. Who finally? That that was a nice tough battle. I'm gonna try to clean up just these units and maybe these ones. But even though it's stressful, there is a certain stress about. Uh, having to fight all these battles, uh, which are pretty, uh, pretty difficult. Um, it's quite fun. Like this is... Maybe I should have left the last campaign on very hard as well, as far as difficulty goes, because it does feel that that it works. I don't know, somehow it's uh, at the level where there are things that I should be doing better, I'm trying to find them out. But I am losing plenty of units, it takes more time for me to think and act, have to be quicker, have to learn better what the best troops are and how to use them in a more efficient manner. It's very unfortunate that Sudrayar is... Advancing further into our lands. Prepared to defend, plus one zeal, gave me arm for him, minus, we are at minus three here. Not possible. Are these, is this not like a... Today. Yeah, it's still one of the Vikings. Just to close this chapter, let's destroy this army. Heading for glory. There we have it. Move up to position. Uh, let's see if we can slightly move into his territory again and uh, are we into his territory? Yeah, I don't see any replenishment and raiding. That's it. So this will provide us with more legitimacy, which we needed. Our king is starting to replenish and get some food. Uh, shall we move him forward? What is this? This territory is a cattle grazing. Farm. No, we will not fail you. I think I can do something even smarter than that. Let's recruit ourselves a brand new general. This guy. Our bravery is legendary. And I will ask him to go ahead and take that territory over. Our while we keep our king in place, fall. let him heal, do all that. 
But for the rest of the management, I guess we'll leave it for the next episode. I'll put a cut in here. Once again, I'm trying not to exaggerate with my voice at this moment. Um, but it's also the time has passed for this uh, particular session. So, yeah, look forward to seeing you tomorrow to see how how we're going to continue. We found our a way to make legitimacy happen. And that makes me very happy. We're gonna have to do a whole lot of raids from now on. It's going to be very interesting to see um, how we, we plan to continue once we kick, at least kick Sudrayar out of this territory. But yeah, that is it for now. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. As for the moment, I wish you all a wonderful day ahead.